Hey everybody, it's Travis from the Steel Magnolia, and uh, yes, I'm laying on the floor as I'm recording this. I had a problem over this past weekend camping. I started noticing that the voltage on my voltmeter that I've installed uh, beside the refrigerator in that cabinet was uh, hovering at the uh, 12, 12.0, 11.8. Uh, I went checking and hunting temporarily, couldn't find anything. So now that the camping trip's over, back home, checking things. Let me walk you through what I have found. So I started checking the WF8900, the converter, and I, everything looked good there. Voltages were checking out good. I turned on the refrigerator since that's the highest amp draw appliance that we have in the camper and uh, and the converter was like intermittently it would speed up it would slow down it would just do all kind of crazy things and uh, I got to feeling wires and I noticed the wires were a little warmer than what they should have been so I got my infrared thermometer and started just shooting temps and when I got to this one right here okay and uh, that is the hot lead coming from the charger the red line down here that's coming from the charger to the board this is what I discovered and I'm gonna do this with the screwdriver was that this is loose and if you're looking at the end of the wire, which is right here, you can see that all that's moving. So that became my problem right there. So I'm sure that that's caused all of the anomalies. And what I'm fixing to do is recheck the tightness on all of the terminals and then start over. Well, uh, we've done some testing. We've let things run. I put the refrigerator load on it, and guess what? The, uh, the converter is putting out properly, once again, and the terminals and wiring is no longer getting hot. So I was on the verge of having a really bad problem, and it appears that at some point in time, somebody went in there and must have messed with a lot of stuff because there was a lot of loose lugs up inside the... Uh, the control panel. Now something I'm going to show you that I did find that was missing was that here over the top of this there's supposed to be a panel that lays over the top and what that does that helps the airflow from here push across all of the components. Well that was missing so what I'm done I'm in the process of making one that will lay in here and it will go just about like that and this is made out of aluminum and this is just from a roll of aluminum flashing that I had it's very thin uh, it's gonna work out really well anyway super pleased with everything okay and last thing let's take a look at the voltage and see what we're having we're holding steady at 13.62 13.63 on my little panel that I have up here which I expect to be a little off but uh, reading 13.4 so that's what I monitor from most of the time so that may not be exact but it gives me a real close idea of what's going on and that was also my first indication that I was having a problem I hope this has been beneficial for you thanks this is Travis Trail Manor 2720 2007 model hope you're having an amazing day